Is there finally a rival to the Elgato Stream Deck? I have in my hands here, right here, well, actually over here, but, you know, here it is, the Loop Deck Live S. So, let's take a look at it, shall we? Let's dive in. Yeah. Is it as good for content creators, streamers, that whole jazz, as an Elgato Stream Deck? Let's check it out, shall we? Kyore Tefano, and welcome to GS Tech. And today I have, and I am very excited to share with you, the Loop Deck Live S Mini Stream Deck. It's not a Stream Deck, obviously, because it's not, not Elgato, but it is a, a a macro pad. You know what? You know what they are. Straight out of the box, we can see little LCD screen, fifteen individual buttons, four tactile buttons around the outside, and then two turning knobs. And now, I know that Elgato have just released their Stream Deck Plus with the four knobs. However, hear me out. I think you'll find the Loop Deck might just be worth considering. The beauty of the uh, Loop Deck Live S, and I guess the S stands for streamer, streaming, stream, sort of, you know, that sort of, that whole jazz, <laughs> um, is build quality, excellent. Uh, viewing angles are spectacular can still see them nearly 180 degrees. Obviously 180 degrees from the person. <laughs> but the LCD screen is fantastic. Um, the One of the default um, actions for the turning knobs uh, is actually to dim the screen. So, you know, if you're working in, if you work in the daylight, you might need it a bit brighter, turn it up a bit, perfect. Turn it down in the nighttime when you need it a bit dimmer. Turn it all the way down if you want to turn it, you know, turn the screen off without actually turning the the deck off or you know unplugging it so definitely some nice little features there in the box it comes with a nearly two meter long uh, braided USB cable it's USB-C at both ends with one connector being a 90 degree connector as you can see um, it also comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter so you can slap it in the back of the computer which is what I've got it plugged into now so that's excellent um, the build quality feels really great. Um, the stand gives you a nice little prop up. Good, uh, what is it, about 30 degree angle, about there. Um, if you want to take it off, just detachable. It's really simple. You can lie it flat on the desk, which is also quite nice to use if you've got like a good desk mat and it's not going to slide around on you, which actually I actually haven't any tr um, troubles with. Uh, I keep it on the sort of, it's a laminate desk, so it's a bit skiddy, but the feet, keep it well secured on the desk. I don't have any issues pushing the buttons, turning the knobs, it stays where it is. This is the smallest offering from Loop Deck who already make two sort of larger offerings of these productivity tabs, let's call them. Um, however, those are geared more towards sort of, you know, music mu movie production and higher productivity things. The, Bit bigger editing jobs, uh, color grading, that sort of thing. Not that the Loop Deck Live S can't, it's just that I guess that those ones are more specified, more specialized. So price wise, what are we looking at? The Live S is around $149 US, as far as I can tell. Um, I haven't been able to find that many places that sell them. Straight from the dealer, say. Straight from Finland at <laughs> Loop Deck, then you're paying around $149 US. So yeah, that's kind of an out-of-the-box look at the Loop Deck Live S. Um, we'll go further into the actual software side of things um, in the next video. I want to go through one of the best features that it has, and one of my favorites, actually. I don't know if it's the best, but it's my favorite, so we're going to cover it. <laughs> it's called dynamic switching, and I'll show you what that means, obviously, in the next one. As far as an overall thought about it goes, um, I really like it. It's nice and light. It feels sturdy still um it stays on the desk well it looks really great it's got a nice matte finish to the plastic it's got a great screen it's got good tactile fillings on the buttons the knobs are graded as well so you know when you know when you're clicking them around it's not just a free scroll um they actually have a, a push in function as well to the knobs so you can uh change audio scenes or whatever we, we'll, we'll cover that in the next video other than that thanks for sticking around Hope to see you in the next one. I've been Gio. Kaki Tano. Catch you in the next one. See you there.